Broadcasting live from somewhere in the Shadow Realm, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links Talk. Here's your host, Doug Dimadoo. Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links Talk. Today, we're going to take a look at the new changes to the Forbidden and Limited lists within Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and some major um, some major decks have actually taken quite a hit uh, with this update, and this will be taking place as of November 6th. So, um, yeah, let's take a look at the new, uh, new implementation of the... Uh, forbidden cards so the first one is well there actually are not going to be any forbidden cards meaning that you wouldn't be able to run any copies of the card in your deck but there are going to be two new cards that are limited to only one copy in your deck the first card is going to be champions uh, uh, vigilance so this one was a really popular card to be used in those red eyes black dragon decks and those blue eyes white dragon decks this thing is really about a counter to just about anything as long as you have a level seven or higher monster on the field and seeing as uh, their explanation is since a level seven or higher monster can be easily summoned in the current meta game this card is being limited to prevent duels from being one-sided so that's the rationale behind that but also the next card that they're limiting and this should come as no surprise to the folks who've been following the metagame in the last uh, few uh, few weeks with all the cyber angel stuff is machine angel ritual and the reason why they hit this card and not machine angel absolute ritual is because this is the one that you could remove from your graveyard to keep one of your cyber uh, monsters on the field uh, even after it gets destroyed by battle or card effect uh, so yeah, that's why they're going to limit it to just one. But even though Yu-Gi-Oh! GX was added very recently, this card will be limited to prevent the Cyber Angel decks from taking over higher level play. Because in a way, it really has. I know it's not a tier zero deck because there are ways to defeat Cyber Angels pretty easily, actually. But as long as you're not running a deck that prepares for Cyber Angels, you will have a lot of trouble if you go face them. And, and having three copies of Machine Angel Ritual in your deck does make things very consistent to protect your your cyber angel dagony and all those other cards on the field and at least limiting it to one once you remove that ritual from play to protect one of your monsters uh, you're not getting it back then the rest of your game you're going to be dealing with absolute ritual which which is harder to uh to summon anyway because absolute you have to have the actual uh combined level of your of your monsters being tributed for the uh for the special summon of the ritual monster to be the exact amount so if you're trying to summon dagony you're talking about a level eight so you got to have you know a level six and a level two or two level fours or one other level eight to actually make that summon happen so machine angel ritual it's a lot easier to summon because you don't need the exact uh the exact levels there so this may actually take a nice big hit to the uh to the cyber angels uh, decks right now but they wanted to take things a step further especially with those red eyes decks and that is to uh, semi-limit and when I say semi-limit, I mean that they're only going to be allowing two copies of this card in the deck. And that's Red Eye Spirit. And this is the one that keeps on bringing your Red Eyes monsters back out from the graveyard. It says, this card allows players, or allowed players to summon Red Eyes monsters extremely easily. Having three copies of this card was too powerful for the current game environment and will be semi-limited to improve game balance. Especially with the addition of Red Eyes Insight, you're basically able to search out a Red Eye Spirit anyway, and uh, and then make your play. It was almost, uh, yeah, especially if you're running some kind of balance deck, you're almost guaranteed to have a Red Eye Spirit on the field, and almost guaranteed to have a Red Eyes Black Dragon in the graveyard. So that's why I mean Red Eye Spirit. I can see why they're not limiting it because it's not really a game changer right now. But it is significant enough where if you knock it down from three copies to two copies, uh, I think it will impact how many people are running Red Eyes Black Dragon decks. So uh, anyway, there is also an addition of some skill rebalancing. And uh, this is just this is something that I'm going to take a look at here because I haven't actually opened this up yet. So now I'm going to kind of go through... And there is some rebalancing here. The first one is Creator. The cards you can add to your hand will be updated to reflect the current metagame. Okay, this is pretty good. Uh, because right now the skill is being used to ensure certain cards being in the player's starting hand. But uh, they'll readjust it to add an element of randomness to the skill. Uh, 
Okay, so basically with Creator, this is one that I've unlocked with Maximilian Pegasus Creator. Uh, if I'm trying to remember exactly how the skill was listed, but you'll get a you'll get one of a few cards. I think it was one of four cards that you're able to pull into your hand. If you think if you take more than a certain amount of life points of damage, or if your life points fall to a certain amount, and some of the cards at the time were pretty good. But again, it wasn't something that you really wanted to rely on. I didn't see a whole lot of people really playing using the creator skill. And come to think of it, I think maybe I've only seen one or two duels in all of the, the duels that I've, I've played within uh, uh, Ranked and Casual that people have actually used the creator skill. So uh, I think Seto Kaiba also can unlock the creator skill, which makes sense because, I mean, he's, he's the one with all the money. But also Maximilian Pegasus, that's that's the skill to be used there. So that's the one being rebalanced. And just so you know, all this stuff will be taking effect by October 6th, which the timing is perfect, just in time for the KC Cup. So, uh, yeah, this is this is just an interesting hit. My thoughts are, you know, this will at least allow some other decks to start making their way back into, into the mix when you're starting to get more competitive. Uh, I do see a lot of Cyber Angel decks in there right now. I do see a lot of Red Eyes decks. Um... But yeah, Champ's Vigilance being taken down to one, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty significant. And same thing with the, with the Cyber Angel Ritual card. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting to see now how players adjust if they decide to shift into other decks that have full power, or if they're gonna try and work with what they've got from a limiting standpoint. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go from there, because Red Ice has been, pretty much one of the top tier decks for for a while now even though now we're seeing that power creep where you're getting monsters strong stronger than uh than those uh, uh powered up red eyes monsters uh you know on the field quickly uh you know very quickly so yeah i don't know i really don't know what to think of this well i guess i'll get a better better idea once this is implemented the first week of november so if you do run a cyber angel deck or a red eyes deck or any variation where you're utilizing three copies of champs vigilance uh yeah take advantage of, of playing with those full power decks now because in a few weeks that will be uh that'll be axed so <laughs> sorry to say but in a good way you know in some ways this could be a good thing for certain players some players love it some players don't so yeah i'm going to kind of go back to the drawing board look at some of my other decks and and see what uh see what's more effective but anyway that's uh, that's kind of it if uh, there's anything that you want to add feel free to reach out to me on twitter at Yu-Gi-Oh deck talk it's all one word at Yu-Gi-Oh deck talk and i'd love to hear from you anyway that's it for today's episode thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you next time take care